Welcome to the Time Blazer and the monthly review for you to implement favorable timing into your important business practices to empower yourself, your workforce, and your client interactions. Hi, my name is Kathleen Zemanski, the creator of the Time Blazer system to help you do the right action at the right time, every time. The Time Blazer is a favorable timing system that's been around for centuries, helping the affluent, successful corporations and governments to have more power and more money to crush the competition. Now these same empowering techniques are available to you. In this video, I'll cover the month of November, tell you a little bit about favorable timing, how it's best used in this monthly view, and a little bit later, I'm gonna show you how to start empowering yourself each and every day. So let's dive in. This is a color-coded system. This is the month of the pig. It's always the month of November in the Western calendar. And as you can see, it is a color-coded calendar to help you right at a glance to see whether a day is more vibrant or if it's more of a neutral day, which would be the white. But what is the beauty of the Time Blazer system is actually the personalized system and as you can see there's several different options here there's a star system which is one through five stars a five star day which for example would be the seventh of this particular month um, all the way down to a one star day which does which is the ninth for this particular person here today and a couple other days as well so in addition to looking at the green which we know is more vibrant adding on the star system which is personalized to each and every Person. And then we also have a icon system for common business activities. So um, on this particular day, we have a really beautiful day to get things started um, for um, our Miss Amanda, who is our um, uh, person we're demoing. And so she could do a lot of different activities. But as you can see that there are different um, ways to use the Time Blazer. There is a little video on timeblazer.com for you to go and check out um, all of the little intricacies, but this is specifically some of my predictions that I'm going to have for this particular month. What you may want to do is download your free business astrology chart because this information will be relevant to you and how you can use this calendar each and every month. So just go to freebusinessastrology.com. And what's going to happen is it's going to generate a chart like this. And for our purposes of this uh, um, monthly review, you would use your year month, day, and hour of birth if you have it. Now I realize that everyone knows their hour of birth, but um, this is what these particular four pillars mean. The year of birth is about your reputation, if you will, your social media, your market expansion. How wide and far can you spread your marketing net to uh, bring business to you. It is also about your social circles, if you will, which is very important for your networking efforts as well. Your month of birth is about your career, what you are actually best suited to do, your character, and how ambitious you are, or not, I would suppose. And then your day of birth is about yourself, your self-reflection. Um, it is about your health. It is also about your partnership, specifically your intimate relationships, but it is also about your business partnerships, what kind of team members would work best with you and uh, things like that. Then your hour of birth, if you know it, um, it is really worth trying to find that piece of information out. But I do realize uh, due to adoption or um, records being lost that uh, you may not know your hour of birth, but if you do, it really will be an important piece to know that um, what, what is your legacy or your life purpose um, and also your investments and also your research and development. So um, this is a, an important pillar to know if you have that um, energy um, available to you, that access, uh, that that number. Okay, so the, the month of the pig this year is a very interesting month for those who do have a pig in their chart. And remember, is it year, month, day, or hour? Now, even if you don't have a pig in your chart, you're still going to want to listen up because obviously you still have a lot of business that you could accomplish in this month if you just follow a few of these timing tips. 
and obviously it goes in much deeper um, into the program, but this is just a quick glimpse of what's available. All right, so in the year of the pig, in this month of the pig, this is what is gonna be um, available for those who do have that pig in their chart. So one, you have a great ability to solve some lingering problems from the past. Now this could be a health issue, a personal or a professional issue. And if at this point you haven't received, I'm talking about in this point in the year, uh, of 2019 in the year of the pig, month of the pig. If you haven't received assistance to solve this problem, maybe it's time for you to reach out and ask anyone and everyone you know something about this issue to help you get it resolved. Number two, it will um, also look like you're gonna be in the limelight this year, so congratulations. And what I would suggest that you do, even whether you want it or not, I'm sure that there is gonna be some focus um, put upon you so hopefully it's a good light but what I would um, highly suggest especially if it's been a while maybe brush up your look hire an image consultant or it's also a great year to rebrand especially if that pig is in your uh, year first and then month of uh, as well because that's really more the business that is going to be highlighted so then number three it's also a very good year to hone a skill that you already have or pick up a new one. So choosing the right skill to focus on, obviously, or one to update can help you gain popularity and recognition as well. So there's some really good things to think about. But we have three months left in this year of the pig because in the Chinese calendar, the year actually ends the end of January, unlike the Western calendar that ends in December. So we have three months left in this year of the pig. So the pig has some really favorable things going for them this year and i don't want you to lose out on this energy because next year on february 4th this all changes so the time blazer is a time based system and the best way to capitalize on these energies is use them to the max when they are available because again when that year shifts you no longer have to access to this year's empowering energy you're going to have something else but it may not be as vibrant as it is this year, I can already tell you, it will not be so you wanna capitalize on it for this year. So each of the 12 animals in the Chinese Zodiac has helpers and combatants, if you will. So in the month of um, the pig, um, in the month of the pig, you're the pig, always if you have a, um, a pig available to you in your chart, um, one of your best friends, your best helpers is a tiger. So remember when I just said earlier that if you haven't gotten the assistance yet, maybe if you know somebody with a tiger in their chart, they are absolutely somebody that could help you. And there's other modalities as well. This is just a, a quick little um, intro. And then a clash animal to the pig is going to be the snake. So if you have a snake in your chart, um, maybe not so happy as far as the year's going for you, but if you have a pig in your chart, the snake, uh, a, any snake day, for example, is going to be um, maybe a little bit more challenging. But I do wanna tell um, people that a clash is not always bad. Sometimes we do need to shake things up and, and really kind of get a new perspective on life. So don't be afraid of a clash, just be aware that there is change that is gonna happen. So since you know change is gonna happen, this is a great way for you to guide the change and be um, proactive about things that might be shifting in your chart. All right, so the pig actually has a very unique um, and special dynamics. So if you have one pig in your chart, just one, let's just say it's in the, the, the month of the, the pig, right? Um, so you were born in the month of the pig, it affects your career. And this is an energy that's uh, in, in Chinese metaphysics that's called a self-sabotaging energy if you have more than one pig. So truthfully, this year, a pig actually has this um, possibility of the self-sabotaging energy. So you have one, let's presume we have one in your chart, then it is the year of the pig, so there's two, and now it's the month of the pig, there's three, and then within the month, every 12 days, there's a shift um, to one of these animals, so then we would have a, um, a, a day of the pig as well, we can even get right down to the hours, but let's just say that within this month, I want anyone who has a pig in their chart, and you may have even more than one pig in your chart already, you were born maybe in the year of the pig, in the 
the day of the pig, then we already have those two. So you really need to see how these pigs can start piling up. Now, what is self-sabotaging energy? Self-sabotaging energy is, you, is, is first and foremost, it's not something happening to you, you're doing it to yourself. What do I mean by that? Um, you might um, be um, in some sort of uh, health regime right now and you know you're not supposed to be eating certain foods or, or uh, taking in certain um, things uh, that would be harmful to you and you do it anyway and, you, and then you pay the consequences. Um, there's many addictions out there, including um, workaholics. So are you finding um, the right hours to be working? Are you working so hard and then really you're just kind of spinning your wheels at, at a certain point. So there's all different kinds of addictions. You know what they are if they apply to you. And this would be the month that um, I would also say in and across the board throughout the rest of this year as well, that if you have a pick in your chart, just be very, very careful about making snap decisions. And, you know, there might be, there's a lot of, pers there's a lot of persuasive people out there that will try to um, interest you in doing something that you don't want to be doing. And so don't feel the pressure of doing that. So that that's where I would say, you know, let me, this would be a good good way for you to say, hey, let me think about it and I'll get back with you later. That would be a really good way to um, handle self-sabotaging energy. Think twice before you make an action. Kind of like the carpenter. Measure twice, cut once. There, there's how you can look at it. Okay, so I do need to mention, if you do not have a pig in your chart, this whole discourse about the self-sabotaging energy does not apply to you. It only applies if you have a pig in your chart. So just be aware of that. All right. Now, if you want to know a little bit more in depth about everything I talked about, about the, the year of the pig, and then just basically um, go to my YouTube channel, um, go to Kathleen Zemanski, and then just look for whatever animals you have in your chart. And then you can hear a little bit more in depth of what is happening um, for each and every animal all the way through February 4th of next year. All right, now I'm going to give you a couple of days within the Time Blazer. So I'm pulling back the curtain, if you will, to the Time Blazer to have you see, have an inside look to um, what um, my clients are seeing. So I'm gonna give you a couple of days. One's gonna be a good one. One's gonna be a little bit more challenging. So here's one of our favorable days. It's a really beautiful day. I love this day. So that's why you pulled your chart. Remember freebusinessastrology.com. We wanted to see if you have a clash with this particular day. So first of all, it's a beautiful day and it's very, 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 very good for finances. It's also a very good um, day. It's a very happy and harmonious day, if you will, but it's a great day to network. It's a great day to send out proposals, sign contracts, start with uh, new clients or a project. It's just, it's just a beautiful day. Now, um, there's a couple of time slots um, that are going to be very good. Um, you can actually start at 3 a.m. in the morning if you want, but, you know, uh, and, you know, go ahead and use it if you are up that early, but, you know, five to six, um, you could, you know, start sending out like an autoresponder. Set this up um, a day or two ahead of time. Don't wait for this day to think about what you're going to be doing. That's the beauty of the time blazer. We already know in advance how this day is going to play out. So you can pre-plan all of your important activities to um, really have a nice income, um, outcome, <laughs> and income too, hopefully, right? Because it's a wealth day. All right, now I want you to take note of this nine to um, 11 o'clock hour. What's really beautiful about this is it has this little teal box in there, which has um, one particular energy called quick action. So not only does this have a very beautiful outcome um, prevailing throughout the day, this particular time slot, things are gonna go really, really, really quickly. So what I would suggest on November the 18th, think about this now, how can you create maybe a breakfast meeting or meet with a client? This is something really important that you want to do. So um, this, the, the worst thing you could do is run to um, do some errands, you know, unless you're like sending like a huge contract or something like that, um, you know, via the post office or something like that, I would say use this to really make that one-to-one -one contact with an important client to really move that dial of your business forward. And then you have another opportunity for maybe an evening, either a dinner or a follow-up call or a follow-up email, something like that. That's how you use this system. 
All right, but you know, no day is equal, and you, it's not only about uh, having the good days available to us, it's also about looking at the uh, challenging days and avoid the obstacles. Now, remember that teal that we saw um, previous, uh, that was just in the hour? Well, this means that we're gonna have that quick action, good or bad, happening throughout the day. So this is uh, this is actually quite early in the morning where this more most negative energy shows up, but it is an important one to um, be, be aware of. Um, you kind of wanna be careful on the road if you're a commuter, um, and there's a very, very uh, counterproductive energy happening at this time. But if you have a pig in your chart, remember we talked about the pig, you're gonna to want to um, not stick your head in the ground. This is not what the system is about. You just want to be more aware because it is a destruction day. A destruction day means things are taken down um, to, to kind of the ground there. So you really want to be very, very careful on a day like uh, today. So just be more aware. But between the 11 and 3 o'clock hour, that's a four-hour time slot. So if you can get some your best work done, if you do have to reach out to a client, this would be um, the, the best time to do it, or the 7 to 9 o'clock as well. Um, do watch about this big spender. Now, when it's not a good day, it's a really great day to um, actually use it to your benefit. I'll we'll tell you more about that one, once in the program. But um, for you that are listening to um, this free update right now, just want to tell you it's not a great day to upsell your clients. This is a day that um, you may end up having returns. You may have end up having a disgruntled client. It's just not a, it's just not a happy um, client uh, relationship. So you want to be really careful with that, okay? All right, so um, if you are interested in trying out this system, we are able to give you a two week free trial. So um, we get more in depth in each and every day on how you use the days. There is a two week free trial right there on the screen. So www.free two week trial and then just go ahead and sign up for that and test it out and um, you will be amazed on how how your contracts really turn into profitable a profit center for you um, i also want to let you know that we're getting to that time of the year where we are going in through those shifts so this is an opportunity as well to attend my annual event um, we were talking about some of the YouTube videos that were available from last year. So we're going to be talking about how the metal rat is going to be affecting people. So this is kind of a throwback to the Game of Thrones, if you will. Uh, folks, if you're listening to me, this is uh, winter is coming. So we've got some big shifts, but you know what? In times of um, seemingly we're going into a recession, this is a great way to recession-proof your business. Uh, finding tools to help you stay out of the way of the challenging energies that um, are going away, are coming this way, as well as I want you to think about uh, that, you know, even though a lot of people in a recession do get caught in the crossfires, if you will, but there are also people who make vast amount of money. And that's what this seminar is about, is to help you get on the right track and make good decisions throughout the entire year. So that's all I have for you uh, this, uh, this month. I really appreciate you tuning in. Come back here uh, and visit us at timeblazer.com anytime. And then come back, especially at the beginning of December for this monthly update. Date. I look forward to seeing you then. So don't lose any more precious time. Go ahead and download that free dime, uh, timeblazer.com, the two week free trial.com. We'll see you next month. Be well. Mm -hmm.